one thing that I find is that sometimes people are afraid to communicate, yeah. especially when it comes to money. Yeah. So Scott, what would you say to someone who is sitting there thinking, I don't know, I don't, you know, I'm ashamed of, you know, something or I'm afraid of the answer, I think is also part of the reason. But just also because a lot of people, you know, it, it's cultural in different cultures, you yeah. just don't talk about money. Yeah. And so unfortunately, that keeps people from knowing and having the information they need to be able to make good decisions in, yeah. I want to say, in real estate and finances and money, anything to do with it. So what would you say to someone who is a little bit afraid to communicate about money? Sure. The first thing I would say, Jennifer, is I understand. Yeah. I really do. I understand. Yeah. Um, think about this for a second. And I know people are listening, but Let's think about that, you and I, Jen, for a second. So someone's going to look at my credit history. Someone's going to look at my bank statements. Someone's going to see my pay stubs. I'm totally exposed. Naked. Naked. <laughs> like, really, really, really. And so as a lender, with the understanding that that is a very vulnerable position to be in both personally and professionally. You're dealing with folks just like yourself because you're no different. You've got to be able to communicate that right up front. Hey, Mr. Mrs. Jones, I'm, I'm, I, this is the information and the documentation I need in order to see how much of a loan you qualify for. If you have any questions, I'm totally available. And Mr. or Mrs. Jones, please understand, there's not any question that you can ask me. As I go through your credit report, I'm going to give you a call. We're going to go line by line. We're going to go through each item. I'm going to make sure they're legitimate first and foremost. And then we're going to go through them and see if there's anything that's not accurate so that you and I can be on the same page. And getting them to understand by sincerity and authenticity that you are not there just to do a transaction. You're there to help them buy a home, build a legacy. And that is not always said verbally, but that has to be communicated without being communicated. Because people can tell when you're sincerely caring about what they are doing and they're exposing themselves to you. And by the way, prior to them making that phone call to you, prior to them, you reaching out to them, they didn't know you. So they're in a very vulnerable position. So I've got to bring them home very quickly to a level of comfort so that they understand, hey, look, I'm here to help. 